circulation in human beings so circulatory system carries the important function of transport of nutrients and respiratory gases so it consists of plasma and cells plasma is 55% cells is 45% cells of which are RBC WBC erythrocyte leukocyte and thrombocyte which are known as platelets as well so RBC are biconcave in nucleated structure contain hemoglobin so these are RBC WBC are classified into granulocyte and a granulocyte absence of granules so granulocytes are further classified into three eosinophil basophil neutrophil neutrophil number increases in infection eosinophil number increases in allergy a granulocytes consist of lymphocyte and monocyte monocyte is known as scavenger cells and their nucleus is kidney shaped these are the cells of the circulatory system then we come to the organs of the circulatory system heart is the main pumping organ it is divided into two atrium for auricle and two ventricles right upper atrium left atrium right ventricle and left ventricle so heart is a hollow muscular structure which contains blood it is derived from mesoderm it is covered by pericardium two types of pericardium fibrous and serous fibrous is outer one serous is inner one this is a heart wall has three layer epicardium myocardium middle one and inner one is endocardium it is a single layer of epithelial cells so this is a external structure left atrium receives oxygenated blood through two pairs of pulmonary so the interventricular circus is present between the two ventricles and interatrial circus is present between two atrium the left atrium receives oxygenated blood from two pairs of pulmonary vein from the right ventricle deoxygenated blood is sent to the lungs through pulmonary trunk and from left ventricle oxygenated blood is passed through entire body through aorta and right atrium receives blood from superior and inferior vena cava the internal structure of the heart it has four chambers as we know two atria two ventricles the right chamber it is divided by tricuspid valve right atrioventricular chamber and left atrioventricular chamber is divided by bicuspid or mitral valve so these are division and left ventricle as thick wall it is just to supply blood to the whole body pulmonary trunk and aorta rises from the right ventricle carrying deoxygenated blood to lungs and pulmonary aorta or systemic aorta has three semilunar valves the pumping action of heart is rhythmic contraction and relaxation the heart rate is 72 times per minute by which it lit uh, it pumps 5 liters of blood the conducting system of heart 
is modified cardiac muscle through SA node which is the pacemaker of the heart the conducting system consists of SA node to AV node atrioventricular bundle and then to bundle of his to Purkinje fibers in the ventricles wall of the ventricle so the cardiac cycle of working of the heart so one atrial systole is of 0.1 second and one ventricular systole is of 0.3 second followed by joint diastole of 0.4 second which is known as cardiac cycle one cardiac cycle takes place in about 0.8 second which is heartbeat blood vessels of the heart are arteries veins and capillaries arteries divide to form arterioles which form capillaries capillary joins to form venules and then vein arteries carry oxygenated blood veins carry deoxygenated blood except pulmonary vein and pulmonary artery capillary is very thin permeable wall exchange of gases and nutrients takes place through capillaries the heart beat is 72 time it's the number of beat one systole and one diastole makes one heart beat so 5 liters of blood is pumped when there is increase in heart beat it is known as tachycardia and when it decrease in heart beat it is known as bradycardia pulse is the pressure wave traveling through the arteries after each ventricular contraction the blood related disorder are hypertension when the blood pressure increases normal blood pressure is 80 to 120 to 80 mmm of hg when it increases above 120 it is known as hypertension high blood pressure and when it decreases below 180 below 80 it is known as hypotension and there is a coronary artery disease where atherosclerosis is the main problem which is the narrowing of the blood vessels due to deposition of fats and then there is angina pectoris which is the chest pain due to reduction in the blood supply of the cardiac muscle heart failure result of progressive weakening of the heart muscle and failure to pump blood effectively then there is ECG which is electrocardiogram which graphical records the electrical activities of the heart which was discovered by Inthoven in 1903 it has P wave QRS complex and T wave P wave is upward small wave impulse generated by SA node it indicates atrial depolarization causing atrial contraction QRS complex is down large upright triangular it uh, denotes ventricular depolarization causing ventricular contraction and T wave is broad upward wave no new impulse ventricular repolariz repolarization occur in this wave in this particular video we will deal with excretion and osmoregulation in humans so excretion is elimination of metabolic waste product which is carbon dioxide bile pigment nitrogenous waste product through kidney lung and excretory organs so major we will study about the kidney the modes of excretion are amniotelism or ammonotelism which is excretion of ammonia which require excess of water highly toxic and it is seen in aquatic invertebrates or tadpole larva of frogs bony fishes examples are important which we have to remember then the other type is ureotelism ureotelism animals which secretes urea when ammonia reacts with carbon dioxide form urea oxygen less soluble 
less toxic and it is liquid form so 50 ml of water for 1 gram of urea is required it is seen in terrestrial animal like frog turtle mammals and marine fishes bony fishes above marine fishes and then comes the uricotelic animals which uh, secret uric acid as their uh, waste product it is less toxic it is thick paste and it is seen in desert type of animals like birds reptiles as well as least amount of water is required for this process and then there is gonotelism or gonotelic animal excreting nitrogenous base guanine in case of gonotelic animal it is seen in arachnids arachnids consists of spider and scorpions or penguins as well so gout is a condition is painful arthritis due to defective metabolism and deposition of uric acid in the joints of bones in man and mammals so human excretory system consists of pair of kidneys pair of ureter a single unpaired urinary bladder and urethra in males or vestibule in female so kidney are dark colored bean shaped organ the dimensions which mostly asked 10 into 5 into 4 in centimeters so they are retroperitoneal they covered by peritoneal only on the one side hyalus is a notch on the medial surface of the kidney so hyalus is on medial surface right kidney is slightly lower in position than the left kidney and it consists through 12 thoracic to third lumbar position function of kidney is excretion of nitrogenous waste osmoregulation adjustment of ions so blood supplies through renal artery branch of dorsal aorta so mechanism and formation of urine the glomerular filtration rate gfr is the rate which filtrate is formed it is 125 ml per minute or 180 to 200 liters per day if to remember these values amount of blood passing through glomerulus is 600 to 650 ml urine produced is 1 to 1.5 liters per day bowman's capsule is the outer parietal and inner visceral layer which is specialized cell called podocytes these foot like projection lie on endothelial surface membrane of the capillary of the glomerulus so there are three process of formation of urine ultra filtration then selective reabsorption and the third is tubular secretion composition of urine is important consists of yellow color pigment urochrome 95% is water 2.5% is organic substance like urea uric acid and creatinine ADH or anti diuretic hormone is also regulates the urine level which we will see further ADH or anti diuretic hormone also known as vasopressin is secreted by posterior pituitary helps in retention of water and salts more ADH more water is reabsorbed and hence formation of concentrated or hypertensive urine 
लेस ए डी एच लेस इन वॉटर री ऑब्जॉर्ब एंड थर्स मोर डायल्यूट यूरिन और हाइपोटोनिक यूरिन सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वॉटर कंटेंट द हॉर्मोन ए डी एच ऑटोमेटिकली रेगुलेट्स एंड देन देर इज किडनी डिसऑर्डर्स लाइक किडनी फेलियर विच आर टू फॉर्म्स अक्यूट एंड क्रॉनिक अक्यूट किडनी फेलियर सिम्टम्स आर ऑलिगो यूरिया एंड रिक्वायर्स डायलिसिस क्रॉनिक किडनी फेलियर इट इज स्लो ग्रेजुअल फेलियर लॉन्ग टर्म कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज डायलिसिस इज ऑल्सो नोन एज आर्टिफिशियल किडनी डाया मीन्स थ्रू एंड लाइसिस मीन्स लूजनिंग डायलाइजर इज यूज इन पेशेंट फॉर क्रॉनिक रीनल फेलियर एंड नॉट फॉर अक्यूट डायलिसिस इज अ होल्डिंग मेजर ऑफ रीनल ट्रांसप्लांट किडनी हेल्प्स इन इक्विलिब्रियम इन वाटर एंड मिनरल्स किडनी एक्सक्रेट आउट एसिड मेटाबॉलिज्म किडनी प्रोड्यूस एरिथ्रोपोइटीन एंड कैल्सी ट्रायल द एंडोक्राइन फंक्शन ऑफ द किडनी सो कैल्सी ट्रायल एंड एरिथ्रोपोइटीन आर द टू हॉर्मोन्स सिक्रेटेड बाय किडनी एंड देर इज किडनी स्टोन्स इफ इट इज एन यूरेटर इट इज नोन एज यूरेटरोलिथियासिस it is in kidney it is known as renal calculi it is in condition having kidney stones which is known as nephrolithiasis and if it is in urinary tract it is known as urolithiasis kidney stones may be of calcium oxalate calcium phosphate or struvite produced by urine splitting bacteria or cysteine stones are produced and then there is kidney transplantation and nephritis is also a disease which is also known as bright's disease disease involving renal glomerular conditions like hematuria proteinuria hypertension streptococcal glomerulonephritis is seen in children regulation of function of kidney is by hypothalamus and jga apparatus juxtaglomerular apparatus which helps in osmoregulation through renin enzyme secretion from the kidney and its antagonist is anf antinatriuretic factor which is secreted in opposition to aldosterone so anf is secreted by atrium control and coordination so control and coordination is done by brain and spinal cord the structure and function of brain and spinal cord the these forms the human nervous system so human nervous system is divided into three parts cns central nervous system peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system central nervous system comprises of brain and spinal cord peripheral nervous system comprises of cranial nerves and spinal nerves and all the automatic nerves autonomic nerves are classified into autonomic nervous system supplying involuntary organs so the brain and spinal cord are covered by meninges there are three meninges dura mater arachnoid mater and pia mater in a most below dura mater is subdural space and below arachnoid mater is subarachnoid space in which lies csf which is cerebro spinal fluid which is an alkaline fluid about 120 ml in adults absorb shock and protect the brain from mechanical injuries help in supply of oxygen and nutrients so human brain is also known as encephalon the uh, it is well protected in a bony structure called cranium which it is about 1300 to 1400 in weight and 1300 to 1500 
in volume cranial capacity so it develops to full size at the age of 6 years so the parts of the brain are forebrain midbrain hindbrain forebrain is known as prosencephalon midbrain is known as mesencephalon and hindbrain is known as rhombencephalon so forebrain is further divided into olfactory lobes known as rhinencephalon cerebrum known as telencephalon and diencephalon which is also known as thalamencephalon midbrain is divided into two parts known as corpora quadrigemina and crura cerebri hindbrain is divided into three parts cerebellum pons and medulla oblongata so the parts of the prosencephalon are olfactory telencephalon cerebrum which comprises of 85 percent of the brain and has a function of thinking controls voluntary activity memory willpower intelligence reasoning emotions thalamus or thalamin diencephalon it consists of epithalamus thalamus and hypothalamus hypothalamus is the floor of the diencephalon which controls releases many hormones releasing factor and inhibiting factor thalami is uh, controlling the reticular activating system epithalamus is the roof which forms the anterior choroid plexus so these are the parts of the forebrain then comes the midbrain which is mesencephalon it consists of corpora quadrigemina it is two pairs of lobes first pair is known as superior colliculi which is associated with controlling or coordination of head movement and second one is inferior colliculi which are two pairs which controls control and coordination of auditory reflexes the relaying center of impulses control muscle tone and then is crura cerebri with a thick band of nerve fiber then comes the hindbrain which is known as rhombencephalon the main part is cerebellum which comprises of 11% of the brain which is the second largest which is also known as metencephalon the function is equilibrium posture regulatory center of neuromuscular activities and control voluntary activities it consists of three lobes median vermis and two lateral cerebral hemisphere and the, uh, there is arborvitae tree like structure in the inner white extending into the gray matter of the cerebellum which is metencephalon and then there is pons verula it is the white bridge between uh, metencephalon and medulla oblongata which is known as myelencephalon it is the posterior most part which continues into spinal cord outer white and inner gray part cranial nerves arises from medulla oblongata it controls involuntary activities heartbeat respiration cough sneeze reflexes so these are the functions of the different parts of the brain the cavity of the brain is known as ventricles there are four ventricles first and second are lateral ventricles also known as paraseal between the lateral ventricle and the diaseal there is foramen of monroe diaseal is the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle is known as metaseal so between a paraseal and diaseal there is 
foramen of monro a diacyl opens into the fourth ventricle by iter or aqueduct of sylvius the fourth ventricle is continuous with the central canal of the spinal cord so the first and second ventricle lies in the cerebral hemisphere the third ventricle line diencephalon and the fourth ventricle line medulla oblongata then comes the spinal cord which is known as myelon it is about 42 cm to 45 cm long 2 cm thick lodge in neuron canal of vertebral column after second lumbar vertebrae it tapers to form conus medullaris it ends in thread like structure called phylum terminale which are thread like structures beyond this there is fibrous horse tail like structure of meninges which is known as corda equina there are two swellings cervical swelling on the spinal cord and there is lower lumbar swelling so cervical plexus supplies the nerves to the hand while lumbar plexus to legs function serve as conduction of nerve impulse and control spinal reflexes peripheral nervous system consists of nerves that is cranial nerves and the spinal nerves so cranial nerves are 12 pairs and spinal nerves are 31 pairs so cranial nerves are of three types sensory mixed and motor it name from olfactory which is the first nerve second is optic third nerve is oculomotor fourth is pathetic which is also known as trochlea fifth nerve is trigeminal which has three part ophthalmic maxillary and mandibular sixth nerve is abducens seventh is facial eighth nerve is auditory or vestibulo cochlear ninth nerve is glossopharyngeal tenth nerve is vagus eleventh is spinal accessory and there is twelfth nerve which is hypoglossal of this 5 7 9th and 10th are mixed nerve 1 2 8 sensory and rest others are motor nerves and spinal nerve there are cervical thoracic lumbar sacral and coccygeal of which cervical has 8 pairs in the neck thoracic has 12 pair lumbar has 5 sacral has 5 coccygeal is one pair of the nerves there are receptors for different stimulus the part of the body that receives stimulus and convert into impulse the types of receptors are extero receptors and intero receptors extero receptors are mechano receptors in touch cells in skin then thermo receptors which are also present in skin chemo receptors which is present on tongue and nasal mucosa stato acoustic which is present in internal ear and fifth one is photo receptors which is present in retina of the eye and intero receptors are of three types first is propio receptors which is present muscle and joints then there is enteroceptors 
which are present in visceral organs and baroreceptors which are present in wall of carotid artery measures pressure these are the different types of receptors and sense organs are five as we know nose tongue skin eye and ear eye are a pair of eyes is located in the orbit sockets orbital socket eyes spherical made up of three layers sclera choroid choroid is the middle one outer sclera and inner one is retina so the anterior part is cornea and it has three sub layers of retina ganglion layer ganglion cells bipolar cells and photoreceptor cells photoreceptor cells are of two types rods and cones which uh, re uh, release photosynthetic pigment the photo pigments are rods by rhodopsin and for cones it is iodopsin yeah iodopsin other parts of eyes blind spot is the posterior region where rods and cones are absent macula lidia is the yellow pigment spot present on lateral to the blind spot macula lutea it is yellow color uh, lateral to white spot and its central pit is known as fovea which is thinned out portion of retina which is highly packed of cones and it has highest visual acuity and the anterior part is known as aqueous chamber and the uh, posterior part is filled with vitreous chamber then there is ear it carry out two important sensory functions the hearing and maintenance of body equilibrium it is divided into outer or external ear middle and inner ear outer ear pinna and external auditory meatus middle consists of ear ossicles which is malleus incus and staves staves is the smallest bone in the body and also consists of eustachian tube it is the u tube which connects pharynx to the ear middle ear and there is internal ear which is fluid filled structure called labyrinth consists of two parts outer bony labyrinth and inner membranous labyrinth and it consists of vestibular apparatus cochlea otolith organ these are the parts of the inner ear which helps in maintenance of balance crista ampullaris is the projecting ridge contain hair cells saculus utriculus these are parts of the ear which pro projecting ridge called macula ampulla are the swollen base of the circular canals in this video we'll study about chemical coordination the coordination is by nervous and chemical control chemical control is by hormones hormones are released from hypothalamus pituitary and various glands so endocrine these are known as endocrine glands of which there is pituitary gland thyroid gland which secretes thyroxin adrenal gland or suprarenal gland secretes three hormones glucocorticoids mineralocorticoids and androgens then there is pancreas pancreas secretes insulin glucagon pancreas uh, pancreas is a dual structure it has dual function exocrine as well as endocrine exocrine is concerned with secretion of enzymes then there is gonads which controls the secretion of testosterone estrogen progesterone and relaxin 
हॉर्मोन सिक्रेटेड बाय हार्ट इज एंटी नेट्रियोरेटिक फैक्टर बाय किडनी एरिथ्रोपोइटिन एंड कैल्सी ट्रायल पिट्यूटरी इज डिवाइड इंटू टू पार्ट्स एडीनो हाइपोफाइसिस एंटीरियर पिट्यूटरी एंड न्यूरो हाइपोफाइसिस विच इज पोस्टीरियर पिट्यूटरी पोस्टीरियर पिट्यूटरी सिक्रीट्स टू हॉर्मोन्स ए डी एच और एंटी डायोरेटिक हॉर्मोन कंट्रोल वाटर बैलेंस एंड ब्लड प्रेशर ऑल्सो नोन एज वेसो प्रेसिन एंड अदर इज ऑक्सीटोसिन विच हेल्प्स इन प्रोसेस ऑफ चाइल्ड बर्थ एंड सिक्रेशन ऑफ मिल्क लेट डाउन रिफ्लेक्स इज बाय ऑक्सीटोसिन एंड एडीनो हाइपोफाइस सिक्रीट मैनी हॉर्मोन्स विच आर टी एस एच थाइराइड स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन रेगुलेटेड बाय टी आर एफ ऑफ हाइपोथलामस ए सी टी एच एड्रीनो कॉर्टिकोट्रॉपिक हॉर्मोन विच स्टिमुलेट्स एड्रीनल ग्लैंड टू सिक्रीट कॉर्टिकोस्टेरॉइड्स एम एस एच मेलेनोसाइड स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन ग्रोथ हॉर्मोन और सोमैटोट्रॉपिक हॉर्मोन जी एन आर एच विच इज गोनाडोट्रॉपिन हॉर्मोन्स गोनाडोट्रॉपिनस आर एफ एस एच फॉलिकुलर स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन एल एच ल्यूटेनाइजिंग हॉर्मोन आई सी एस एच इंटस्टिशल सेल स्टिमुलेटिंग हॉर्मोन्स एंड फाइनल हॉर्मोन्स ऑफ पिट्यूटरी इज एल एच विच इज ल्यूटोट्रॉपिक हॉर्मोन और प्रोलैक्टेन द पिट्यूटरी ग्लैंड इज डिवाइडेड इन टू एडीनो हाइपोफाइस एंड न्यूरो हाइपोफाइस एडीनो हाइपोफाइस इज फर्दर डिवाइड इन टू थ्री पार्ट पार्स डिस्टैलिस पार्स ट्यूबरालिस एंड पार्स इंटरमीडिया एंड न्यूरो हाइपोफाइस कंसिस्ट ऑफ मीडियन एमिनेंस इनफंडीब्यूलम and pars nervosa so these are parts of the pituitary gland also known as hypophysis which lies in the bony structure known as cella tersica and the cells of the pituitary are classified as in adeno hypophysis and neuro hypophysis adeno hypophysis there are chromophyll and chromophobe chromophiles are acidophiles and basophiles acidophiles secretes growth hormone and lactotropes which secrete luteinizing hormone basophiles these are acidophiles सेल सिक्रेटिंग ग्रोथ हॉर्मोन एंड एल टी एच बेजोफिल्स सिक्रेट थाइरोट्रोप्स विच सिक्रेट टी एस एच गोनाडोट्रोप्स विच सिक्रेट एफ एस एच एंड एल एच एंड कॉर्टिकोट्रोप्स विच सिक्रेट ए सी टी एच न्यूरो हाइपोफाइस हैज पिट्यूसाइड्स एंड एक्जॉनिक नॉब और हेरिंग बॉडीज these are cells of the pituitary glands so our next endocrine gland is thyroid gland which secretes t3 triiodothyronin t4 which is known as thyroxine and c cells of thyroid secretes thyrocalcitonin disorders of thyroid secretion hypothyroid decrease secretion will leads to cretinism in children and myxedema in adults and hyperthyroid will lead to exophthalmic goiter which is graves disease and thyrocalcitonin 
is a peptide hormone which is secreted by parafollicular cells then there is parathyroid hormone parathyroid gland secretes parathyroid hormone so parathyroid hormone also known as parath hormone it destroys the bone and increases blood calcium level so it is antagonist to thyrocalcitonin then there is adrenal gland which is suprarenal gland it secretes hormones from cortex and medulla so cortex there are divided into three zones so adrenal gland its cortex is divided into three parts zona glomerulosa middle fasciculata and reticularis which secretes three hormone which is mineralocorticoids glucocorticoids and androgens as discussed earlier then medulla it secretes adrenaline which is epinephrine and noradrenaline which is norepinephrine the hyposecretion of uh, adrenal hormones will lead to addison's disease and hypersecretion leads to cushing's disease anatomy of flowering plants so the tissues of the plants are meristematic tissue and permanent tissue meristematic tissue a group of common origin and common function so this tissue are meristematic and permanent in the specialized region of plant show active cell division is meristematic tissue meristem at its tip of the shoot and root are apical meristem meristem found in between the mature tissue is known as intercalary meristem axillary buds are left behind cells of shoot apical meristem meant to produce branch of the flower so apical and intercalary meristem are primary meristems cylindrical meristem are formed as lateral meristem such as fascicular vascular cambium intrafascicular cambium and cork cambium these are called secondary meristem cork cambium intrafascicular and then comes the permanent tissue these are grouped as simple permanent tissue and complex tissue so cells of permanent tissue seldom divide all the cells have similar structure and function of simple tissue permanent tissue have different types of cells are called complex tissue parenchyma is a simple living permanent tissue the shape may be round oval isodiametric so they may be with or without intercellular spaces the function is storage and photosynthesis they have chloroplast colenchyma may be oval so first is parenchyma then there is colenchyma they contain they may or may not contain chloroplast and then the last part is sclerenchyma sclerenchyma is the third type of uh, simple tissue it is highly lignified pits of either fibers or scleroids they are dead as loose protoplast then comes the complex tissue it consists of xylem and phloem so xylem may be primary or secondary xylem primary xylem is of two types called protoxylem and metaxylem 
phloem is the living tissue which conducts food in angiosperm. Sieve tubes and companion cells are absent in gymnosperm. These are part of phloem. Sieve tubes are made up of sieve elements. Sieve elements are non-nucleated cells. Companion cells are spindle-shaped cells. They maintain the pressure gradient. So phloem parenchyma is absent in most of the monocots. Not present in monocot. So early form phloem in proto phloem with narrow sieve tubes, while later formed as meta phloem with bigger sieve tubes. The tissue system may be of epidermal tissue, which includes the stomata, and there is ground tissue. which consists of cortex pericycle pith and medullary rays in the ground tissue leaves it is chlorenchymatous called mesophyll and then there is vascular tissue third type of tissue vascular tissue system xylem bundle and phloem bundle may remain separate in the roots if xylem bundle and phloem are separate and arranged at different radii it is radial arrangement if conjoint vascular bundle and phloem is on the outer side phloem on the outer side and xylem on the inner side it is conjoint tissue system so anatomy of dicot and monocot root the outermost is epidermis made up of rectangular parenchyma inner is the several layer of parenchymatous cortex the inner to the parenchymatous is pericycle it produces lateral roots then there is pith which is in inconspicuous conjunctive tissue the dicot root has two or four alternate xylem and phloem strands so all the tissue are inner to the endodermis or endoderm pericycle vascular bundle path in monocot root only difference is that xylem and phloem vascular bundle are more than six polyarch and pith is large in monocot the roots in xylem is exarch that is protoplasm is facing towards the endodermis then there is secondary growth that is formation of cambial ring Secondary growth is the growth in which there is lateral cambium formation, intrafascicular cambium. The cambial ring cut off the tissue towards the to form secondary xylem, while secondary phloem is also formed. Some of the cambium produces radial parenchyma. So intrafascicular cambium is formed. Secondary xylem. And phloem are formed. There is spring wood and autumn wood. Cambial activity of many physiological and environmental factors. In winter, the ability of water and mineral is less, so reduces the less amount of wood. So this is known as autumn wood, which is seen in winter. and in temperate region during spring season the cambium is very active in plants thus provide large amount of wood with wide mouth vessels and efficient conduction this is known as spring wood in temperate zone the spring wood and autumn wood come as alternate ring due to climatic influence the spring wood is lighter in color with low density 
autumn wood is darker with higher density and there is hardwood and sapwood the physiological active peripheral wood which is lighter in color is sapwood the wood is active in conduction of water and minerals and the other one is hardwood digestion and absorption in human beings so digestion is conversion of complex food into simple one which is then absorbed and assimilated in blood and then transported nutrients to other parts of the body so the digestive system consists of alimentary canal which starts from mouth and end of anus so it consists of buccal mouth buccal cavity pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine which is divided into duodenum jejunum ileum and large intestine which is divided into cecum colon rectum and external part is anus so in digestive system the important points which we have to discuss is about the teeth in which there are 32 in number thecodent is the term which means rooted in bony jaw socket and diphedont means erupting in two crop milk and permanent teeth seen in mammals and there is term known as heterodont with different shapes and size of the specific functions so the dental formula is incisors are two canine is one premolar is two and molar is three similarly down two and molar three and there are various gastric gland which produces gastric juice there are three types of cells in gastric glands which are mucoid secreting cells then second one is oxyntic or parietal cell which secretes hcl and the third one is peptic cells so the physiology of stomach it churns food by muscular action and releases gastric juices the enzymes are pepsin which digest proteins casein in milk and there is renin r e n n i n renin which is released in children lipase with digest fats so these are the gastric enzymes liver is the largest gland which is of two lobed right and left lobe of its major content is of right lobe pancreas is leaf like structure the bile is released from gall bladder it is synthesized in liver it is dark green alkaline bitters fluid which emulsifies the fat the pancreatic juices are alkaline juices which are enzymes include trypsin and chymotrypsin amylase lipase nucleus these are pancreatic enzymes which convert nucleic acid into nucleotide and then nucleoside and the enzymes which are released by intestine is known as succus entericus which are alkaline juice which neutralize the chyme on alkaline side which are dipeptidase maltase dipeptidase converts dipeptide to amino acid maltase maltose to glucose lactase sucrase sucrase converts sucrose to glucose and fructose nucleotidase and nucleosidase 
and lipase as well these are enzymes then there are sphincters which are a ring like structure present this is a circular ring of smooth muscle at some point of the alimentary canal which regulate the control of passage there is cardiac sphincter pyloric sphincter iliocecal rectal and pancreatic there there is sphincter of od there are special structures of glands first is brunner's gland which is in duodenum help in digestion and second is crypt of libercon this is present is small intestine typhoid germ settles here in this part we'll deal about biological classification here first of all there was biotaxonomy in which the animal will be named by binomial nomenclature which was given by carl linnaeus so biological classification was done under five kingdom first of by whittaker r h whittaker in 1969 proposed five kingdom of classification these are kingdom monera protista fungi plantae and animalia so monera includes all the bacteria mycoplasma cyanobacteria protista include single cell eukaryotes which are chrysophytes diatoms golden algae are included in protista or phytoplanktons diatoms are chief producers in the ocean and dinoflagellates are many photosynthetic yellow green brown or blue colored then comes kingdom fungi these are heterotrophs non photosynthetic and then comes kingdom plantae which includes cryptogamae and phanerogamae cryptogamae includes algae bryophyta pteridophyta phanerogamae includes gymnosperm and angiosperm classification of animals has been done in different phyla first is porifera which includes cycan you have to remember the examples of it and sponges after porifera there is silenterata which includes cnidaria physalia then comes platyhelminthes these are worms flat worms or tapeworm tenia then come ascalmens these includes ascaris then comes annelida which has earthworm then arthropoda which includes cockroaches spiders then comes mollusca which includes 
पीला एकाइनोडर्मेटा विच इंक्लूड स्टारफिश एंड देन हेमिकॉर्डेटा विच इंक्लूड बेलानोग्लॉसस और सैकोग्लॉसस आफ्टर दिस कम्स कॉर्डेटा विच आर डिवाइडेड इन टू ग्नैथा इग्नैथा एंड ग्नैथो स्टोमेटा विच आर विदाउट जॉस एंड विथ जॉस सो इग्नैथा इंक्लूड्स यूरोकॉर्डेटा सिफेलो कॉर्डेटा एंड वर्टिब्रेटा सो ग्नैथोस्टोमेटा इंक्लूड्स टू क्लासेस विच आर फोर फीड्स फर्स्ट इज पाइसिस एम्फीबिया देन रेप्टाइल्स एव्स and then comes mammals this is classification of kingdom animalia